How's it going everybody? My name is MDKWLIN, otherwise known as MDK, and today we are back in Ubuntu 12.04 and we're tackling a problem with Minecraft. Now previously I used Minecraft as an example for my Java install video, which it, a link will be in the description if you don't know how to install Java. Uh, I included two different methods on two different videos, how to manually do it yourself or just download a script that will do it for you. It's your own discretion. So, a majority of people that play Minecraft probably play it in Windows, to be honest with you, but the few of us that are, I don't know, Linux people, there's not really a name, but Linux people uh, like to play the game as well, and because it's a Java game, it's operating system agnostic, which is perfect. So, we don't really have to worry about that, but apparently we do, because Minecraft itself will not run out of the box with... Linux in general, I believe. Now, this is applied to the Oracle's Java. I'm not so sure about the OpenJDK, but I think I saw different um, error reports about OpenJDK having the same problem. So, it's more of Minecraft's problem than it is Java's problem. So, the main problem that people are having, and I'll try to demonstrate it here if it works, so I'm going to change directories directories and so this is how you would launch the game itself so java jar minecraft.jar obviously it being a legal copy log in with your stuff and you get this in the black screen and it will not go any further and you get this giant error screen if you're running it in terminal so so it's very simple how to fix that actually so we're gonna close terminal for now I'm going to include a link in the description. Please go and download. It should be something LWJGL and then whatever the latest version is. Now this folder itself is a backup that I back up to my personal server. So I have everything all together and I have to go looking for it. And I update it from time to time. So I can include some of these files if you guys want me to put it back into a, a, you know, like a RAR shell or 7-zip file and put it on the Dropbox but I cannot include the uh, Minecraft.jar and that's because you know it's owned by uh, uh, wow I forget the company's name so yeah it, it's owned and I don't want to dis be distributing a copy of their game so go and download the LWJGL file I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use whatever the hell for it because I cannot pronounce it every time. I have a file here that reminds me of all the files that need to be moved and it's kind of it's not really a long list it's just that their naming scheme is horrible to be honest with you. So you download the .zip file and you extract it use whatever extractor you want to use. I prefer ARC. ARC is a very good one. So you want to go to your home folder which I need to navigate to so the way that Linux hides, or this might be a Ubuntu thing, but I'll use a broad term because why not? The way Linux itself hides folders is it puts a dot in front of it, and you can hide anything in Linux by putting a dot in it. So it can be a folder, it can be a file, it can be anything. It doesn't really matter. As long as it has a period in front of it and then the file name, you're, it's hidden. So within your home folder, you'll notice, okay, well, I have to go to my dot Minecraft folder. Where is that? So, within your home folder, hold down control and press H. This will unhide all the files that you need to find. Within this, you need to find the .minecraft file. Now, within the .minecraft file, the first thing we're going to do is... Uh, let's do the jars. So, within the .minecraft folder, you're going to go into the bin directory and just we're going to stay there for now. Within your extracted folder, the LWJGL go into the jar folder first and we're going to look for three file type of uh, three files so we need the gen put jar we need the lwjgl underscore util dot jar and we need the lwjgl dot jar this naming scheme is horrible and we want to copy them to our dot minecraft bin folder so Hold down control, highlight them all, and you can take them over. 
apply this function to all and replace. So within your extractive file, we want to go back to the LWJG, JGL, it's so horrible, and go to the native folder, and we want to go to Linux. Now in our .minecraft folder, or our bin folder, we want to go back to the .minecraft folder file, and we want to go back into the bin directory because I can't pay attention to stuff, and we want to go into the natives folder. Now this one's fairly simple, just highlight everything and copy it over and apply this action to everything and replace. That's it. It's done. Once those are replaced, Minecraft is now playable and I can show it here. So changing to desktop Minecraft Java attack jar Minecraft dot jar of course sign in as usual and log in and ta-da! Minecraft works and the game is playable but honestly I'm having memory leak issues right now and I'm not 100% sure why so I'm not gonna play the game while recording audio and video but suffice to say the game is playable you know to the limits of your system Minecraft itself can be a little wonky depending even in Windows like a stable environment it I don't know yeah I think it's mainly the language that it's used so the downside to doing this is that you have to do this every single update so right now it's minecraft 1.4.7 when that becomes 1.5 or 1.4.8 you have to do this all over again and i believe that's been the case for a while now sadly but enjoy your minecrafts and if you have any more problems with java or anything feel free to leave a comment or message me and i might turn it into a video and address your problem or yeah answer your question address your problem I done gun learned how to speak English yesterday anyway hope this was helpful uh, let me know in the comments if you have any more problems with anything and be sure to check out the subreddit Linux for noobs this is probably a solution that would fit well there but apart from that have a good one guys see you later